Because when people read the Quran, they don't think. He said, good, fine, alhamdulillah. Read the Quran as much as you like. And behalf of the Quran and all, there's a lot of sawab in it. I have no problems with that. But we need to move to another zone of reality. You see, because we've got to think the Quran. We've got to get people to think the Quran. Which is not what is happening. And the Quran is a brilliant resource. So, I told you about these four principles. Tawheed, Fitra, Mizan, Khalifa. Divided into four. And divide the workshop into four breakout groups. And give each breakout group a group of ayats on Tawheed, a group of ayats on Fitra, a group of ayats on Mizan, a group of ayats on, on Khalifa. And we say, break out groups, appoint a t leader, and discuss. See, and I, and I watch. And you know what? It's brilliant. It's brilliant. When they begin to think, uh, Mizan, Ashamsu wal Kamru bi Husban, Al Najmu wa Shajru Yashjudan. So, Al-Najmu Yashadru Yashudan. What does Allah mean when He says that the trees, the plants and the trees bow in adoration? So they are talking to each other. So they're asking the question, does the tree do sujood? Do you ask these questions when you read Surah Rahman? Do you ask these questions? So why do we cut down the tree that do sujood? <laughs> why? Why is there deforestation? Why do we cut down a resource that do sujood? That has a purpose. Allah created that tree for a purpose. That is the kind of discussion that we need to generate. And that's what happens. You see? You tell me. Why does the, how does the tree do sujood? Come on. You tell me. I'm asking you now. What? By giving oxygen. How does it give oxygen? Photosynthesis, photosynthesis, what else does it do? Locks carbon dioxide, what else does it do? Locks the soil, what else does it do? I, 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 I was having a discussion with a group of children, five or six year old, and I said, this is what the, uh, the mother side teacher should do. Take the children out, sit them under a tree, and read this ayat and say to the children, what does Allah mean by this? So this one of one boy lift, he says, Allah provides birds with the nests. Alhamdulillah. So that is how the trees do sujood. So why do we cut it? That, who's going to answer that question? <laughs> you see. Anyway, so what, 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 I'm, what I'm really illustrating to you here is the importance of uh, reviving another method of teaching Quran. You don't, have to, you don't have to say it's environmental. It is locked in. That's why I say there's no such thing as environmentalism in the Quran. It's all there anyway. The Quran is environmental. 